So, while Australia was a bit of a buzz, let's hope that the challenges are more fun. Sadly, they aren't really. They're mostly as time challenges. For example, here we have Rock Run, which we have to complete the uh, rock climbing course in under two minutes. You know, the rock climbing course from the first mission of the game, where you have to find Giro. So yeah, this is really hard. Just go to the checkpoints and, well, find that the Giro isn't here and then go on your merry way. Not really the hardest one here. Really. Not really much else to say about it, honestly. Just running through and hope you get there on time. Which you should, honestly. It's a bit lenient. This place is packed with wall hooks. The miners must use them to haul up their drills. Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice. Also, for some reason they didn't turn off the commentary from Bentley on these missions. Which is a bit weird, because, I mean, we've already done these missions, we already know what's gonna happen. You don't need to tell us about that we need to climb again. You also don't need to tell us about that this is a monstrous, you know, destruction of nature. But, hey, I guess we can't have everything here. These miners have no respect for the aboriginal sacred sites. They're drilling into everything. Ayers Rock, Kings Canyon... Wave Rock, the cultural insensitivity is sickening! But yeah, nothing really hard, honestly. This next one is uh, This next one is actually a bit harder though. It's called the Cave Sprint and we have to make it to the safe without being damaged and in under one minute. So yeah. No collecting treasures this time around, we only have one minute to get to the safe, sadly. By the way, I mean... Again, it's not really hard, I mean, we've done these missions before, and it's just a time mission. I almost kind of want to say that... If anything, like... Doing the re recording is like... 3 as all, it kind of made me feel, th feel that Australia definitely is the low point of the game. I mean, both the story and the kind of makes no real sense, doesn't look very intriguing, and also the challenges are just kind of boring, honestly. I mean, even this one. It's the same time from before, when we did that mission, but in Cave Mayhem, we have to defeat 12 guards and make it out of the game during that same time, so... And even defeating the guards isn't really that hard, I mean, it's just mostly just throwing them, it's using the spin attack and throw them off the ledge, really. That which instantly kills them and also counts your combo score. Count, well, your kill count, I guess, would be the right name for it. You, you will see me running around here in the, in the cave. Don't do that, the guards will follow after you. You might as well just stay outside of the cave and let them come to you so you can knock them out. I... Also, don't know if the guards are infinitely respawning, respawning or not. I think they are until you get to a certain checkpoint of the part that the guards are at. That sounds kind of weird, but I mean, it feels kind of like it. Anyway, just take care of the guards in the beginning, where there are the most guards, and then just run out. You have one minute and thirty seconds to get out, so you know, again, not not a very hard time limit. This, however, in uh, scanning the drill, you have 30 seconds to make it to the top of the drill from the Ares Rock mission. And, I mean, it is very hard. It's very, this one is actually probably the hardest mission, or the hardest challenge in this uh, episode. So, yeah, you, the, my biggest tip is to just take your time and don't be stressed out by the timer, even though I just completed it with like one second. Just take it, just be cool and it should all work out. Thankfully we do have a, a Guru challenge as well. We have to possess five different guards without touching the ground. And it's called guard swapping by the way, maybe I should have said that. <laughs> In any case, yeah, it's possess five different guards without touching the ground. The easiest way to do this is actually to be in this area where I am currently, the 
what do you want to call this? The the place where everyone is at. The uh, housing area, I guess. Could be it. Anyway, you want to try and stay around here because there is most most guards over here. Well, over there, I should say, as I'm now running towards the mining, the drill part of the of our area, or outback, or whatever this place was called, and I forgot because it was actually kind of a hard name. You only have to possess five different guards. Or, well, just five guards in general, I believe. It. I don't even think they actually count difference. Or maybe the guards just die when they run into stuff. <laughs> in any case, you just... Yeah, you want to try hold being in the housing area. If there's no guards there, you can just run over to the other side. But you should probably just find five guards. Unless you're going for like, a, high, a super high score. In which case... More like to you. You can probably do this for forever, as far as I'm concerned. I don't really care. I just got in and got six cards. I didn't even need to get six cards. I could just have gotten five if I wanted to. But hey, that's what I get. I suppose this mission also is probably hard if you've been using the barrels instead of throwing the enemies into the fences. Uh, in Quick Law, you have to just keep Mary safe from the guards. I'm not really sure how much damage Murray or well the stuff the uh, the links I guess they're I'm not really sure what they are I mean I guess they're links in any case yeah just throw the enemies into the electric fence much like I did in the original video also this time run you don't have to move Murray thankfully he just stays in one place And yeah, just like that. It's pretty easy. The, uh... This one, Pressure Brawl. You just have to beat everyone in under three minutes. Um, the easiest way to do this is to be close to the... Places that instantly kill enemies, so... I'm gonna try and see... So yeah, the easiest way to do this is to just stay over here. And hopefully not have your, you know, buddies... Get light by the electric fence. That's kind of pathetic, actually. But yeah... As Especially when playing as Bentley, you want to try, try and stay over there. I think Murray's still stuck in the fence, that's kind of weird. Oh no, there he is. Good to see him. But yeah, especially, as Bentley, you especially want to stay close to the button so you can hit the button and instantly kill enemies with the hot coal, which some of and instantly kills enemies. But yeah, with the Sly, we obviously have the jump attack, which even at level 1 is instantly kills all enemies. Of course, as you can see, as you have seen, the level one jump attack is a bit uh, not accurate, I would say. But I mean, it doesn't cost any. It doesn't cost any uh, stamina, magic, thief meter, whatever, whatever it's called. But so yeah, you can just easily use use it as much as you want. Obviously, as Murray just want to punch people, it's not real hard, and throw people into the electric fence. So yeah, it's... I didn't really talk about it in... I didn't really talk about it in the main video, but I do really enjoy this mission a lot, because... Again, the Australia is not really the best episode in the game. It's, I wouldn't say it's, ba it's bad, honestly. It's just that, compared to everything else in the game, it there's not a lot of stuff that happens. This definitely feels like the high point after a lot of just tedious stuff that happens. And yeah, it's also just fun just fighting everyone with all of your friends, or well, buddies in the Thief Gang. Look 
looking good, Murray. But yeah, unless you're not good at the combat in this game, this you shouldn't have any problems with that mission. In Kraken coins, you have to collect a hundred coins. Not treasure, mind you, just the coins that the enemies drop while fending off attacking guards. You'll notice this pretty quickly in this video, actually. I do actually get, get some treasure. The game recognized that I did get the treasure because they count towards my total coin, my coin total in the upper right, but they don't coin towards my coin total in this challenge. So yeah, after a while I just, So yeah, the best way to deal with this is just to like punch out everyone until you've gotten 100 coins, at which point just do the same thing you did back in the original mission, which was uh, Hungry Croc. Right. But yeah, just punch out enemies, get 100 coins, and then throw the enemies into the croc's mouth. Again, not really that hard. Much like the Euro mission, you can do this mission infinitely if you want to get a high score, but why? <laughs> Unless you kind of post the challenge in the thread, I guess, or on the internet and show off your giant e penis. Anyway, calm leader climb. Get the mask off, calm leader, in under one minute. This is definitely hard the first time you d do this because, you know, you have maybe not gotten used to the climbing controls or whatever. Just, um. It's, it's, you don't really have time, obviously, so the best advice I can give is to not climb while Carmelita is turning, because you're going to have, there's probably no chance of you actually climbing up her in that, when she's turning. So, yeah, again, just take your time and be cool and don't stress, don't freak out. Actually, maybe it was 45 seconds. Yeah, it actually was 45 seconds. Never mind. So yeah, that's actually a really tight time limit, but again, not really a problem. 